yeah what did you guys obviously um uh, you and i was the one who first told us about this but nathan on hoindoink retiring but you and what what was kind of the the sequence of events that led to this retirement surreal story really nathan van hoindoink tour de france um teammate he attacked on that final stage on the champs elysees let's not forget with uh with tadej pogacha but nathan van hoindoink he lost consciousness at the wheel uh whilst driving that forced him to accelerate and he crashed his car uh in what was a very nasty road incident uh his partner was in the car as well who uh is pregnant still is pregnant it's 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 all going okay in in, in that department but Nathan van Hoydonk he had to go to hospital it wasn't looking very good to begin with he was in a medically induced coma but now he's uh, he's woken up but um it has brought with it uh, the realization of a heart problem, which does mean that he is forced to retire. We've, we saw this with Sonny Corbinelli as well, following his cardiac arrest last year at the Volta Catalonia. We've also seen it in uh, in football as well. For instance, Denmark's Christian Eriksen, who had a cardiac arrest at the Euros in 2020, stroke 21, where he uh, had to leave Italy due to the the, the, the sporting rules there. So Nathan van Hoydog sadly has had to retire. It's it's such a sort of surreal story. We didn't really touch on it last week. It was a little bit too raw, but now we have a, a better sort of pathway of things to come. But another sort of nasty incident as well, Wesley Crater of uh, Clofidis worrying as well. He had a cardiac arrest. He's back on the bike. He posted a picture on Instagram or Twitter this week uh, of him and his kit on the bike. So that's surprising, at least for me. Uh, to see him back on the bike and train it again, we wait to see what the uh, what the outcome of that will be. We don't know if they fitted the sort of heart monitor or whether they've found a, a cardiac problem. But for Van Hoydonk, it's definitely the end of the road. Such a shame for a rider who was really coming into his own in the past couple of years. So influential in Jumbo Visma's big victories. I mean, do you remember Michael Goulart in the 23-year-old who had a heart attack during Paro Bay? I mean... That was in 2018. I think all of this is kind of like, it's quite worrying that riders are having heart attacks. They're all in the, yeah, the prime in their 20s, 30s, etc. Yeah, this this shouldn't be happening. Yeah. I remember it also happening with, I just looked him up, Gianni Meersman. He used to ride for Sudar Quickstep. He was like a Belgian sprinter. He was forced to retire in 2014, 2015, I want to say, because of a heart problem. It definitely seems like something more more prevalent. Or maybe it's got the same prevalence, but we just know how to detect it better. So yeah, hopefully we can get a bit of a grasp as to what's causing this and hopefully stopping it similarly Diego Lissi had uh, some cardiac problems for a while that ruled him out of racing so this does seem to be a sort of a recurring theme I mean it's not just isolated to cycling you see it in, in, in other sports as well football we spoke about Christian Eriksen but there's also been other, other cases for Fabrice Mwamba uh, back in the sort of late 2000s early 2010s as well had a high profile uh heart attack on the football pitch we see it with runners and so forth. It might just be a thing with high intensity sport, especially from such a young age and at such an intensity. I mean, we all say this. None of us are cardiologists as well, so it's not like we can comment on it. But I mean, it's just worrying sights, uh, to be honest. And I mean, yeah, we might as well move on because this story is quite sad and losing yeah, Nathan Mine Hoindoink. People having heart attacks while they're doing what they want to do uh, as for profession is not really what you want to talk about. European Championships, let's go there. Uh, how did you kind of, well, what was your kind of highlight? Obviously, we saw Josh Tarling winning, beating Wat Van Aert. Stefan Kung had a horrific crash as well. Still managed to finish. And uh, yeah, then we saw Laporte, well, probably to Ewan's great pleasure uh beat beat out uh, what went on once again pull out i really wanted to, him to win it was an interesting world champ uh, world champ european championships i thought it was actually some of the kind of better racing of the year i really enjoyed watching it uh, especially like you know if you haven't watched the last 20 30 kilometers of the european men's road race go and watch that that was a really good finale. Came right down to the wire. Just seeing the finishing line photo doesn't give justice to how good it is. So I'd highly recommend you go back and watch it. But lots of deserving winners, lots of surprise winners as well, I think, which is good to see. You know, not just 
the usual names, kind of, you know, what we kind of have termed the Galacticos sort of riders in the past. But kind of it's a bit fresh, like in the women's racing as well. We saw Bledevold winning. I know it's an SD Works rider, but it's a different SD Works rider. You know, it wasn't a Vibas or a Kapeki. So it's something a little bit different. And for that, I was quite thankful, actually. I thought it was good. Yeah, it, the men's race was actually, it, it was a really captivating watch. And seeing Laporte get a big win as well is quite nice. I know it's a little bit like cliche for me to say that, but I, he, he's, he's a guy who sacrificed so much for other people. And to, to see him get a win ahead of Wild Venatu, he's usually supporting. It's nice. It's very nice. Also, my hot take of the road race. Uh, it's not really a hot take. I think Arno Dali, if he was the Belgian leader, would have got that. He looked really, really good in that final circuit. And I hope we have more racing around this Col de Vam. We saw it with the Dutch Championships as well. Provides great racing, and this was a really good road race. 